Leslie here and I want to show you how to get an affiliate link for share sale. If you have merchants that you are an affiliate for for share sale, this is how you're going to get your affiliate links. You're going to go over to links and you're going to choose create a custom link. Okay, we don't want to get a link or a banner because then you have to choose from the yucky ones that they have. And not every merchant has some, and then the merchants that do, they're just very ugly. I don't make a ton of sales from banners. So let's go over to create a custom link. And then right here, you're going to choose the merchant. You have to be approved for the merchant. So you go through the merchant list, and you have to be approved, OK? These are the merchants that I'm approved for. For this example, I'm going to just use HalloweenCostumes.com. Um, you can put a tracking ID in here, and I suggest that you do. So say this was for a post, you know, say it was for like Pokemon costumes. Okay, say I had a post about Pokemon costumes. That, um, say, and then I sold something. In the reports, it would show me, oh, that came from Pokemon costumes. You don't have to use an additional tracking ID. It's totally optional. But, again, it's going to help you track where your sales are coming from. And eventually, and that um, overall can just help you target stuff um, where your sales are coming from and things like that, <clears throat> which helps you um, increase your sales because you then know what's working and what's not working. So, HalloweenCostumes.com, let's just go um, adult goo goo costume. Let's pick that. What I want to do, let me scoot this up, is I want to take the URL to this costume. Okay, I want to copy it, and then I want to take it back to um, let's go down to share sale. Okay, and then you're going to put that there. And then what it's going to do? See, it's already selected this merchant. Okay, and then that's I mean obviously it's not Pokemon costumes, but you get the idea for that. And then you're just going to create the link, and then that will be your custom link with your affiliate ID that takes you to that costume. Let's open it up in a new tab. I'm going to paste it. Um, let me scoot this up, sorry. Um, there, so you can see that I'm just pasting that same thing there, and then it will take us to that costume, but it's going to be wrapped with your affiliate ID, and you can see it up here. You can see my affiliate ID is on the end. It even says affiliate ID. So that's really helpful. And then so you can take that link over at Share a Sale, and that's going to be your link that you would use to link to that product. So there's two ways you could do it. You know, you can link, to, well, there's lots of ways you could do it. But you can link to the costume contextually, link to costume. I'm not being fancy here, guys. But you could just right here, that's, and paste your link in there. Okay. Uh, open it up in a new window. Now, I would... Okay, so there's one way to do it, and you're going to want to put a no follow um, on that because right now it's do follow, so you got to drop your no follow on the end of that. But another way that you can do it is to take, <coughs> excuse me, the image of the costume. So um, copy image address, um, add media, insert from URL, okay. Uh, it's not, I, I would fill in the um, text, you know what I mean, but it's not a Pokemon costume. I'm just filling this in for the heck of it. I don't know Goo Goo from Pokemon. So here's the image, okay, and now you're going to want to link that image to that link that you got from ShareSale, okay? So there it is. We're just going to copy it, go over to the post, and you can, whoops, excuse me, sorry, I apologize, copy it, link it. And then put that there, open it in a new window, and of course you're going to want to add the nofollow to that too, because you don't, it's, you know, an affiliate link, so you want the nofollow attribute on there. But um, another way to do it, so, so here is the textual link, contextual link, here's an image link, and then another way to do it is I use easy product displays. Now they actually have share sale built into this um, tool. Here, let me see here. Um, search share sale. You know, you gotta put. You can put in your tracking ID here, Pokemon costume, if that's what it was. 
merchants. So I would choose HalloweenCostumes.com, right? And then who is that? Goku. Goku. And they will actually um, bring up all the different Goku costumes. See? So that's another way to do it. And then it builds it with your ID in it. See, you can see the ID is in it. And I'll show you in the thing. But say I was picking that, right? Then what it does is look at it gives me a buy button and a really nice display. And then I can take that code, copy it, take it over to my blog post, put it in the text editor. And what's cool about EPD is it actually throws the no follow on there for me. Um, here's my share sale link. Okay, you can see my ID on it there. But also, um, well, shoot, maybe I have to do it this way. Let's see. Um, well, it's in there somewhere. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, here it is. The no follow at. See, this is what I'm talking about. You want your no follow on there, and EPD does that. But see, this is what it would look like. Okay, it would have a buy button, and you can actually change the size and all that good stuff. And then you don't actually have to know, even go to share a sale at all. Okay, because it's actually built into this um, easy product display tool. But that's just, that's an optional way to do it. And I do pay like five bucks a month for that tool. Um, so if you don't want to do it, you can just do it the old fashioned way. Go and make your link through create a custom link the way I showed you and just build it yourself. Okay. Um, you don't have the fancy buy button, but still, there's lots of ways that you can build your share sale link. Okay, and so hopefully this was helpful to you, and if it was, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.